Okay, sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles. Those are two muscles in the neck that move the head. The trapezius muscle is also very critical in moving the scapula. These two muscles are innervated by the spinal accessory nerve. That is cranial nerve 11. What you are looking at at this position is the lateral border or margin of the trapezius muscle as it is running from a segment of the clavicle up to attach to the posterior aspect of the skull. We can take this specimen and we can turn it over so that you can see the upper portion of the trapezius muscle. Here is the attachment of the muscle to the skull. Here you can see the lateral border of the muscle. The muscle attaches to the skull. It attaches to the spinous processes of cervical vertebrae and also spinous processes of thoracic vertebrae. You only can see a portion of the muscle in this specimen. The fibers that I am passing the probe across right now are critical in elevating the scapula and are involved in other scapular movements as well.